Pop Science from Science Friday. I'm Lynn Brunel. Today we're going to talk about ice. <laughs> ice is solid. So things on this planet come in one of four ways, basically. Solids, liquids, gases, and plasmas. The plasmas are a little complicated, so we're going to leave them out of this one. We're going to talk about solids, liquids, and gases. These are called the states of matter. That's cool. So water can come in different ways. It can come in solids. Solid. It can come in liquid. Liquid. And it can come in water vapor. Gas. Water vapor is a gas, man. What phase do you want that water in? What? You want water vapor gas, liquid water, a solid ice. Mm. So everything's made up of atoms and molecules. Mm solids, liquids, and gases, but the structure of those molecules and how they react to each other changes. In a gas, gas. <laughs> you've got lots of space between the molecules and they're moving around. Gases will take the shape of any container you put them in. And they're moving around, they're like bumper cars. They're going to push out against all sides. Liquids, liquid. you have more molecules, they move past each other, okay? Liquids also take the shape of their container. The bonds are a little stronger. The molecules aren't moving as fast as gas molecules, but they can still slide past each other, and they'll still take the shape of the container. When you have a solid, solid, those solid molecules are not moving very fast, and they're stuck together pretty well. They're not going to take the shape of their container. They're going to shape all their own. They're taking up less space. They're not moving quite as fast. I'm not moving. So water does its own unique thing. This is really cool. Here's an experiment you can do at home with stuff that's hanging around the kitchen. You should try it. Okay. All you need is a plastic pop bottle, a Sharpie, and some water, and a freezer. Try this. What you do is you want to fill up your water bottle about halfway. You take your Sharpie and you mark where your water level is. Now, you put the whole thing in the freezer and let it freeze and see what happens. Okay, let's see what we got. Check it out. Remember the line we made where the water is? And the ice froze up to here. So the ice actually expanded. It grew in the freezer. What? So you think that liquid water would take up more space than solid water, right? Because liquids take up more space than solids because the molecules slow down and they move in together. But here's the thing. Ice doesn't freeze like that. What happens to ice is just before it freezes, it crystallizes. It sort of lines itself up like a marching band and there's spaces in between. So ice actually takes up more space. And because it's got space in it, ice floats. Ice floats. Weird. It's so amazing. Try it! Mm. Try it! Try it! And check out my blog. You can find this experiment and some other cool ones, too. That's all for now. Thanks for joining me. I'm Lynn Brunel. This is Tabletop Science.